praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, I would like to convey the following message to all listeners globally. Again, the Lord has spoken with me. And I would like to convey this very, very important message to all your listeners across the globe. Uh, this past night, the night before this night, the Lord spoke with me in a very tremendous dream. Yeah, the Lord has spoken with me this past night. The Lord spoke with me uh, in a very tremendous way. And I would like to convey this message to your listeners all across the globe. And in that conversation, that past night, not this night, but the yesterday night, the Lord spoke with me very, very vividly. And in that conversation, he put me in a dream. And in that dream, I was in a place. And then all of a sudden, the Lord asked me to look up into the sky. And when I looked up into the sky, I saw that the glory of the Lord had surrounded the sun. Again, the Lord has spoken with me about a tremendous event. And in that conversation, in the dream last night, the Lord... He put me in a place, and then he showed me the sun. He asked me to look up into the sky, and I saw the sun. However, I saw that the sun had been fully surrounded by the glory of the Lord, and the glory of the Lord was radiating from the sun as stripes, in stripes, in stripes that were semi-circle covering the earth. Again, the glory of the Lord was radiating in stripes from the sun coming down towards the earth like a dome covering the earth. And also at the end of those stripes close to the earth, the glory went around, a certain strip of glory went around said that was a beautiful pattern of the glory of the Lord that was radiating from the sun. Again, in that dream, I saw the tremendous glory of Jehovah surround the sun and radiate stripes, beautiful stripes, very well patterned, coming down towards the earth, and it formed more like a dome covering the earth. And then at that moment, I looked towards my left and I saw two rainbows that also appeared very close to one another. Two rainbows appeared towards my left as I stood at that place. And then the voice of the Lord said, Look, the Messiah is coming. Again, then the voice of the Lord said, Look, the Messiah is coming. And I remember too well that the Lord made me know that the church was not yet prepared. Even as the Messiah was coming, the church was not yet prepared. So when I looked toward the sky, having heard the voice of the Lord say that the Messiah was coming. I remember owing to the fact that he made me know that the church is not yet ready. I broke down and began to weep very heavily in that dream. I wept so deep that I fell down on the ground weeping for the church. Because the Lord made me know that look, the Messiah is coming, but the church is not yet ready. The church is not yet holy. The church has not yet embraced righteousness. So in this very shocking conversation of Jehovah, 
we see very clearly that the Lord is saying very clearly in this dream that the Messiah is coming. However, is saying that there will be a tremendous sign and wonder in the sky and around the sun. And then after that, the Lord shows me the two rainbows on my left as I stood there. They suddenly appeared and the voice said, Look, the Messiah is coming. However, he also made me know that the church was not yet ready. So the grief that touched the heart of the Lord extended and touched me and I wept very bitterly and fell down in that dream weeping for the church that look she is not yet ready she is not yet righteous she is not yet holy she is not yet mature she is not yet without wrinkle she is not yet without spot she is not yet even aware that the Messiah is coming May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord of hosts, Yehovah.